While checking out the new Sims videos on YouTube, yes, I play The Sims, YouTube served me up this video of the three page wonder folio from May May Made It Crafts. Maybe you've seen it. Anyway, I wondered if I could recreate it in Cricut Design Space. And if you're a fan of mini albums, you don't want to miss this. Today I'm going to show you how I recreated the May May three page wonder folio, say that three times fast in a second, but I want to give a shout out to May May first for this very cute project and I'm going to link to her video in the description below. Now let's walk through the various pieces to cut in design space and then I'll show you how I decorated it. We're in design space and what I'm doing is creating the basis for the folio project. Now each of the three pieces are eight and a half by 11. This makes up the base of the folio and I'm putting the rectangles at the zero ax or x axis, the zero point on the x axis so that I can add, um, be accurate where I put the score lines. Now all of the measurements and the exact places where you put the score lines are on May May's video which I will link below. And then after I put all the score lines on, the next thing I want to do is attach each of the score lines to those pieces so that Cricut will actually score them with the score tool instead of making a cut line. And those are the three bases for the folio. And then the rest of the pieces here are the different um, panels that I'll use to decorate the folio itself. So here we have cut our three pieces. Um, actually right now all I'm doing is going over the score lines with my bone folder. I'm using, um, I was trying to find a heavy cardstock for the folio. The heaviest I had um, was some Cricut paper that I actually purchased a while ago which I thought was a good idea to use that up. Um, this is actually a good project to use your scraps with. Now I'm gluing down the pieces. Now there is a, a little gusset there um, that you don't want to glue over. You want to leave that so that you have enough room to put your uh, photo pocket in. And then to permanently glue down the pockets, I'm using some Tombow um, adhe liquid adhesive and I'm just putting everything down like so and then um, using that bifold panel that was the third panel and going ahead and attaching that with glue too. Not a lot of glue, just enough to make sure that everything is solid. And you have on the back um, a, an extra flap that's loose so you might, you know, might as well go ahead and glue that down as well. And that's the folio base. Now it's time to decorate it. And again, because this is something that I think would be handled quite often, I'm just using liquid glue to put all of these panels down. Now I could have cut these as a rounded corner within Cricut, but I just decided to go ahead and cut them square and then use my corner rounder on the half inch um, depth part to go ahead and put that on my flap. And so now you can see where I've got my pockets and how they would fit in. And so now I'm gonna decorate them. I'm gonna use flip flaps to make like a booklet for the second one, the yellow one right there. And uh, just peeling off the adhesive and then stacking the flip flaps on top of each other so that they can create that booklet. Now I'm gonna fill them with some Picture My Life cards that I had lying around, another stash item. That's why I said this project is perfect for using up your stash. cover up the seam from the flip flaps I'm going to use um, a picture my life card to cover that up and then I'm just going to decorate this back panel picture my life card to finish up this pocket 
Lastly, I'm going to use a ribbon to make everything tied up nice and neat. And here is the finished project. I really liked making all the score lines in Design Space and letting Cricut do all the cutting work. As I said, I'm a lazy scrapbooker, and if the machine can do everything, then hey, even better. So what'd you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Now the links for all the materials I use are in the description box below, including the link to May May Made It's original video. So be sure to like and subscribe her channel too. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe it. Subscribe. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to it. Yes. So that you don't miss any future clips like this one. Oh my goodness. Thanks for watching. Have fun with this project and happy scrapping.